Hello Blender fans and welcome to Blender TC. Uh, in today's tutorial what I'm going to do is actually I've had a question from Stuart. He says I would actually like to see how to cut an X into a plastic lid in a real solder. I did a circular roll because obviously this is a lot easier than doing an actual X. In this tutorial I'll quickly show you how to do an X. What I'm going to be using to make the X is a cloth simulation so let's begin hi blender fans and welcome once again to blender tc and don't forget if you're new to the channel consider subscribing let's begin what i've got here is the cube so x to delete the cube i'm just going to add in a mesh and the mesh i'm going to add in is a circle the circle I'm going to make subdivisions of 64 just to give it a bit more detail so I'll just scale it up we're just going to make, roughly make the lid so go into edit mode by pressing the tab key E and Z E and S just to scale and all I'm doing is E and Z just to make this lid I'm not going to do it much detail this time I'm just going to actually quickly make the lid. So I'm going to E and S to scale. This is covered in the other tutorial how to actually make the lid as well. So E and S to scale. And what I'm going to do is scale this down so it's very, very small and would normally be hidden under the straw. And now what I'm going to do is actually subdivide this Control and R by a number of cuts and then what I'm going to do is actually hit the 7 key to look from the top as you can see we've now got lots and lots of rings and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut these out now so what we've got I'm just going to actually hold the shift key down and select the first point then hold control down and I'm going to set, select the last point like so I'm going to do this again. I'm just going to select this point here with the shift key held down and go out along the rings here to about there, pressing the control key down and left clicking just to actually assign those. And hold the shift key down again, select the left mouse button, and I'm going to take this out there to about there. Holding the control key down, left click, just to select another line there. Hold the shift down, select this line there. And lastly, hold the control button down and left click. As you can see, I've now got a cross. I'm just going to select shift and add another couple of lines there just to extend it. And then I'm going to actually press the V key. Pressing the V key, what this does is splits the vertices and doubles them up which would be really handy for our simulation so I'm just going to press enter to fix that there we go so the next thing that we'll do is we're going to in edit mode I'm going to come out of there press the alt key select that face select I'm oh, sorry hold the alt key and the shift key down select that ring that ring that ring so now I've selected these three rings so what I'm going to do is fix that ring fix this ring fix this ring and fix this ring the way we do that is by adding a group so what we'll do is actually select this little triangle down here and we're going to make our group so vertex group and we press the plus key then we're going to set the weight to the default which is one and that's where we're going to leave it and Oh, no, I'm just going to actually select that face and that face and of course this because I want these to actually not move at all so I'm just going to assign these so I've assigned all those faces come out of edit mode and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the physics properties select the physics properties select cloth I'm just going to select in these little three lines here. I'm going to select rubber. And then what I'm going to do is go down here. And under shape, 
open shape and select group this is the group we collect created earlier so I'll just select the group and here's where the magic happens I just press the space bar just to make the actual key work hold on and just smooth select that uh, smooth shade that I'm just going to add in a bit of a loop cut there just to sharpen this edge just there make it a bit sharper just to, just to get a bit of definition that's all just so it makes it easier to see so what we've got there is we've got our cross cut into our cup and what we can do is if we hold shift down and and the left arrow take it right to the beginning of our animation and we just step out frame by frame until I get the desired effect for my straw going through my cup I think that's about right select the spanner apply the modifier apply and that has now fixed it so now if we actually run the animation again by pressing the space bar as you can see that's moving up there but it's fixed so now we've got our cup with our cross in it that our straw has just made going through it so if I just were to quickly add a straw scale scale Z Smooth that out, scale my straw down a bit maybe, and delete the top. Uh, only faces. As you can see, we've now got our straw going through our cup, like you would. And this is, of course, how. And of course, this is of course how Stuart wanted this cup to actually look. Hope you enjoyed that, Stuart. As you can see, you can see parts of the cup here, uh, parts of the straw. But because we made that little thing here there, all we can do is actually just shrink that down. And as you can see, that looks quite good. Or I hope it does to you. Uh, if we look at this in Madcap, just to actually show you that it has worked. Well, just I'm oh, sorry, select madcap, select something with a bit of a sheen to it. And as you can see, we've now got our straw going through our cup lid. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks, Stuart, for the idea. Uh, sorry, I didn't do it first time. Thank you for joining me on Blender TC. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe.